Good day and welcome back to Life with Amandine. I hope you are doing good. Thank you so much for tuning in from wherever you are in the world for another episode where we'll be discussing the few things that I've adopted from South Africa. Remember when you move into a new country, the first thing that you do, you need to integrate, okay? By integrating, you need to learn the language, you need to learn their cultures, how it works out, like, so that you can easily communicate. So, having the privilege to actually speak English right now, where I get to communicate with you guys in English and anybody else that is English speaking, it's actually a grace. I was in 2006, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I could only speak French and my mother tongue, which is Lingala and Swahili and so forth. So, and the very second thing that I would like to say is, it is being a goal getter. Back home, or wherever you are in your country of origin, you are more relaxed. You know, you know, I'm a citizen of this specific country. I am. I'm able to get anything I want, you know, that the belief that most people actually have is they can get anything and they can do whatever, they can go to anywhere, any places and stuff. They, they, since they belong in the country, everything should be given to them freely and stuff. And me being here in South Africa actually has opened my eyes because back home, well, I was just 12 years, but just from the experience that I've seen from other grown ups, um, you can see that people are, uh, are more relaxed. Um, I don't really use the word lazy. But it comes close to that where you see people that are just laying around, you know, wasting their lives in the name of the government not providing. A good girl is somebody who's energetic and is de determined to be very successful and is able to deal with new and difficult situations very easily. And that's the point where I've reached in life where um, I feel like if this person can do this, then I can also do it. I've learned to stand up on my own and move forward and create something and you know I've become an opportunist as well in a good way though and an ambitious so that is the mindset I've got now I've got this successful man mindset I want to empower myself in other words so that I stand out of the crowd the next thing is queuing and <clears throat> standing in a line okay <clears throat> so you get to be queued in the bank clinics, home affairs, especially home affairs, <laughs> and you know, just at the shop or wherever you get to go to, or at the text ring, when you see everybody is queued, there's a thing of first come, first serve, and so we have to stay in the queue, so we, we can just be organized. Back home is a survival of the fittest, you know, so if you're not strong enough, you, you will stay behind, you need to fight for it everything and also something about um, ladies first and which actually also i found out about it here in south africa back home it's more about when somebody just maybe feels pity of you or maybe just got a generous heart and wants to help you want to let you go forward uh, or in front of them that's when they get to do it but there's nothing like a ladies first or something like that because sometimes like in uh, at the home houses when we go there it's more of ladies and and mothers and kids and so on then the, the then the fathers comes after they come back home it's actually father first and then mom and then the children <laughs> so it's more actually of that and and the next thing is bargaining, you know. Um, yeah, in South Africa, yes, you do get places where you can also bargain, but then it depends. It's 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 very much dependent. People don't really do that so much, uh, so often as in back home, where in every shop, in every store, it is done that way, you know. And we all know that, okay, as I'm pricing this specific uh, product, I have to actually to make it instead of 50, let me just make it 150 so that because I know nobody's gonna buy it for 150 anyway. So as soon as they come, somebody's gonna try to bring down the price, at least then I will land by the 50 which I was actually always looking for, you know. Yeah, because that's how most of us are. We come into the store and then we see something that we like and we go like, you know what? I like this thing, but it's too, too expensive. I cannot afford it. How about I give you this? Yeah, you enter a store with more where you pay as as it says. If it says 120, it is 120. If it says 500, it is 500 for the shoe that you want. 
and we we'll try to sweet talk the, the seller so that they can maybe put down the price and so on. And the idea also of exchanging something, um, you can exchange a product um, after you've taken it home, you can come back and exchange. And back home, usually when you buy something, as long as you've taken it, as long as you've taken it out of the store already, whatever is happening, that is your business that doesn't concern you anymore. It's kind of like that. And also about the warranties and so on. If I can't exchange, what about refunding you or, or replacing it? So it's 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 actually um it's actually yeah it's quite complicated and so on. And the idea of a customer being right as well, which we've also just um adopted here, you know. Um, I've been a waitress, I've worked as a waitress and I've worked as a manager where you get to see somebody walk in the store and say this, this, this happened, specific day I wasn't happy with this and so on and then the manager has to come forward before even investigating the matter, the manager had to apologize and you know you first listen to the customer fully completely without interrupting them and then apologize and try to solve the issue and then later on we do the investigations but the image has already been fixed you know it's not usually like that mm, back home um there a customer yeah a customer can actually create an issue can even make up a story but back home we'll argue with the customer like literally we are going to argue with you you'll be upset and you woke up and you and you came out go and that's it yeah so you get to restaurant that is actually um like that also other restaurants that maybe is um where the owner has been outside the country so they've got more uh, knowledge of how it how it is to to speak to a customer or to go about a, a customer complaints where they do things different but in most restaurants where they don't have any thing to lose they know tomorrow another customer is gonna come or you or yourself will come back to the restaurant it works out like that so the other part was something that is open my mind and has changed in me because even myself right now if i'm not happy about something i know i can stand up and approach a manager and say this this and that politely though and even if i would create a scene it's still i'm still going to be helped traveling is knowledgeable and it makes you think clever and smart you know um if i start to travel to south africa i must say that it has opened also my eyes just traveling out of a different country seeing different energy different type of people how they also think and so on so it makes me uh, become smart i'd say and instead of me going around and uh, believing um believing anything i hear from anybody about a specific place but once i've traveled to that um to that place i get to see things for my own i get to become a witness of my own and that's it for me thank you so much for tuning in this was life with Armand. thank you so much for clicking on this video do not forget to subscribe click on the notification bell for future updates leave your likes comment down below share the video if you love one i'll catch you guys right next time until then peace out